ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another five-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today, we got Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, the original Ted, Technician Ted, all right? And we're going to get into it here. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, he's a slouch, and that's because they don't got their Vince McMahon maxed out, all right? But I'm here to tell you... That Ted, he's kind of beastly, man, and he can do a ton of damage. Don't let them loot boxes fool you. Ted can hurt you, but uh, he's a little slow, and we'll get into all things Ted. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys a couple builds on him and a lot of matches. So, I said a lot of matches. This is probably going to be like two matches anyways. Let's get into it. <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys, I'm just goofing around a little bit. Let's get into Ted. That's not the screen I usually start on either here. Let's get into Let's get into the Ted screen. He's... All right, you tell him, Ted. Old school. The older the superstar, the less likely they are to have anything on them that I can fling around when I spin them in the gear screen there. Uh, he has just the standard gear. Let's get a look at his poster here quick. Training ability. Moves that destroy loot gems will destroy more loot gems. He's great for IRS. I mean, they're a great tag team. And you train each other with them and all that. We'll get into that too, because I got IRS coming out next. And then we'll do the tag links for Money Inc. Links and gear. Mega Bucks with Andre the Giant. Gems do 20% more damage. We got Money Inc. 100% increased chance for loot gems on the initial loot board. Or on the initial gem. I cannot talk today. Unbelievable. NWO link matching black gems. Charge moves of that color by one more point. Million Dollar Corporation receives 60% less damage from green. The Rat Pack, gems do 15% more damage. And Legends, gems do 10%. He's a man of many links, y'all. Man of many links. And we got uh, we got the four and five star move right there. The running clothesline, four charge. And the diving elbow drop, eight charge green. So the black and the green there. We'll get into them. We're definitely doing a solid... I don't know why he's not healthy. We're doing a solid old uh, three-star build first. We're going to show the original build and bring it out and go against a five-star superstar and see if that can hold up. So his original build, this is how I've always ran him, all the way from three-star bronze, all right? I'm going with the just the original three moves, the million-dollar dream, the submission, 12-charge green. Place six submission gems on loot gems and do 10,073 damage for six turns while sub gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength two. Suplex level 14, purple, seven charge. Deal 32,547 damage to choose six gems to make into loot gems. And we got the backbreaker black move seven charge. Deal 30,116 damage and make seven random gems into loot gems. So let's take a look at the entourage for the original setup. We got IRS on there to make more loot gems for us. Up to five there with a max. We got Vince McMahon whose max is uh, loot gems do 3450 more damage. So, whew, them loot job. The, I still can't talk. The loot boxes, instead of doing one damage, they're going to do 3451 damage, which is actually pretty decent damage. If you look at that, that's more than two of his colors of gems anyways. So, and we got DX Sean on there to help us charge that purple move faster to get to the choosing. And I would run Elias if I had him, but I don't. So I'm going to run Bruno for the sub. Green subs do 50% more damage per turn, and they last one more turn. So now we're doing 15,000 damage for seven turns, so substantially stronger. So let's get out here in the career. Let's get to the Royal Rumble Tour and pick a place to use him. I'm not sure where I'm at, where I left off. Let's let's see, what do we got? Normal round four. Is this a female first match? No, it's Champa. Normal. Did I even do hards on round four? Yeah, I did some. I don't know exactly where I'm at on them all, so... Oh, we got a Mr. Perfect right here. That's only four-star silver, though. Mm, yeah, mm. That might be acceptable match, to be honest. With all the straps and medals for this original moveset. But I said I was going to go against five-star guys, so... Let's try Champa. If it goes bad, you might just see a quick edit to me losing and then going back and facing Mr. Perfect, so... 
Oh man, this champ is gonna hurt me too. All right, one thing I like to do with Ted, you want to bring some uh, loot boxes with you. Chuck out some loot boxes. Do I have any down purples to stop this man from beating the crap out of me if it comes to it? None. All right, that's great. This is gonna be this is gonna be tons of fun. We're going to bring some green with and some ability to destroy gems. All right. Look at that. Even match. Evenly matched. Except for I don't have like anything for titles on here. Look at my look at my little old title for my Ted. Black move damage and green uh, move. Black gems, green moves. Purple gem, purple moves. Nothing that's really helpful. I'll tell you what. Nothing that's really very helpful. So, all right, let's see if we can give Champa that work here. But Tech versus Tech should be evenly matched. Even training or combat power there. Talent level, whatever we want to call it. <laughs> My Pokemon friends will get a kick out of that. All right, we don't have purple here. We're definitely going to take black, though. Purple I would take in a heartbeat because... I need it, and so does he. Super close in health to start with, too, here. Now, if I take green here, it's going to give him purple. And I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I might need to be on the defensive already. But I don't really have much choice there. There wasn't really anywhere else to go. Oh, this one's going to hurt, guys. Wait, he's got the finisher on. Ooh. He is not optimized, y'all, so we might have a chance here, but... Mm. Purple's not going to help me. I could take him just so he can't. But it's really not going to help me. Oh, look at all that purple he's got now. All right, here we go. 12 random gems into loot gems. Maybe we can hurt him here. Because that is, silence gems won't affect these at all. Because loot gems don't... Oh, my goodness. They don't charge moves. There we go. We got a lot of loot boxes out of that. We actually took the lead back in terms of health in the match. For now. So now is when we can try to see if we can like push green or purple or black, but there's really nothing I can do for Cascades on that either. So I'm going to try to get rid of as many silence gems as possible, I guess. All right, let's just do that. Hey, there we got a bunch of purple out of it, so it worked out. It worked out. Even with this reduction, we hit him for 125 there. Got a solid lead in the match at this point, though, even with his gem reduction. And we're able to hit purple again. Now I really need some green gems here. We're trying to get that sub charged up before he gets to his finisher. Man. That gives me... Yeah, but those greens are also silence gems, so they're not helping. And the other ones happen to be in the one row where I can't make them break.
Whatever. Just go for the gem damage. But oh, there was a bunch of green. It worked out. It worked out. That would have been 206,000. So people say Ted can't do no damage because he's loot boxes. When you got a beastly Vince on there, he does the job. He does the job. I said he's a little slow, but we're in control of Champa here. Now, I didn't say he could go up against any top tier dude in the game like this, by no means. Hopefully this don't cascade and pin him. All right, perfect, perfect. Because I also wanted six of those. Because remember, remaining sub gems will turn into multiply gems. So if we can leave some multiply loot boxes on the board, we can hit him pretty hard. He's going to cover up that whole row of multiply gems, watch. And he didn't. And he didn't. Champa, you're too kind. Now, do I just break him now? Probably. I really... There's like no... There's none of my colors on the board. I'm going to take those before he breaks them up. There we go, 11 gems to make into loot gems. This one's probably going to end it. Phew. Let's see. Phew. No, it didn't. That reduction, though. Ah, oh, he's out. He's out. Handled Champa there. We had well over half of our health left. It was a little slow, but he got the job done. And that was just the three-star build. It gets a little bit better. It gets a little bit better. I had to say I'm not impressed with the five-star move. And we're not even going to use it. Because I'm kind of over the point of showing moves just to show them. I kind of just like the matches take longer now. So in order to keep the length of the video down, I can't do like six builds. All right, let's see what Andrade is all about with this next build. That was a 19 health packer. And it didn't come up. The reason that I said um, that you really want to bring this million dollar bribe prop with, if you get to your finisher and there's no loot gems on the board for that sub to put any of them down on, they'll instantly kick out on the first break. So you kind of need those to cover you or your sub could be useless. So that was the three-star build. The four-star move, running clothesline, four-charge black, deal 13,509 damage and choose two gems to make into two-turn countdown gems that will increase your loot gem damage by 118% for two turns when activated. So that is going to be huge. All right, the five-star move is another green, eight-charge, diving elbow drop. Deal 28,804 damage and modify a 1x3 random area into row break gems. So, I mean, you can get that in there, okay? I don't know what set you'd really want to run that with. Maybe instead of the submission. I wouldn't stack it with the submission, really. If you stacked it with the submission, you would take off the backbreaker, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going to put the submission out and put the loot gem damage in and run these as the four-star setup. And I think this is the premier setup for him. And so, again, it's a little slower. You're waiting to get to them loot boxes. But you have that double strength on there. Now, imagine last time them hits I was doing for over 200k. Those are 400k with this setup. That's super, super huge. And we're going to run the same way, all right? Same way, Vince and IRS, you go no move point trainer on him. 
All right. And we're going to see what Andrade is all about here. All right. Let's take him down quickly, Ted. Quickly. We need a good board here. We need a good board. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Give me that purple. Oh, we got the purple. We got the purple. I don't know, though. Andrade should beat the crap out of me. But I heard his AI wasn't fantastic in this match either, so I wanted to try it out. Not gonna lie. Okay, the board went really well for us there, actually. The board went really well. Now, I hope he just doesn't stun me quick. He's got all of his moves ready. This is not great. Ooch. Ooch. We got a lot of loot boxes on the board for this, too. Oh, I guess I have to wait for the countdown to kick in for that to really be effective, huh? It's like, do I do I chance holding the countdown gems until... And see if he breaks them up? Or do I just hope that I can get the moves back? That's the real question. We're going to try and hide those down there. So we're going to stay away from that. I'm going to go ahead and choose these and try to get as many as I can. Like, if I go there, that gives me two purples and a black. If I go here, I'm hoping that that... Oh, yeah, but the, that other purple would already be gone. We have to be real, real sneaky right here. So that's going to give me another purple... So that's going to give me three. I can't do the bottom row. I should have put that somewhere else. I should have thought about this before I picked those. That gives me another one. And that gives me a wild card. Oh! Got rid of one of them. That was a pretty nice shot we put on him right there, though. Tell you what. We're going to get more countdown gems so that, that loot gem damage is just going to stack up here. Starting the next turn. Now let's try to stay away from the other stuff. Let's go over here. Random loot gems. Hmm. I'm going to be gutsy and see if he takes those loot boxes down there. I obviously seen the break, but I was kind of waiting for that one to go off. I have no idea what he's going to try to do here. Okay, he did take it. I was just thinking, like, if he didn't choose the loot boxes down there, and I got my countdown to go off next turn, and those were all still there... I would have had the chance to put down, like, ridiculous damage. Like, super ridiculous. Oh, and now you're gonna, now you're gonna take my countdowns while I'm down. Perfect. Loot boxes would kick me out in a second. I know it. So, let's try those. Hopefully I'm out. Okay. 118, 118, 118. That's 300 and what? 18, 36, uh, 54. Is that right? 354% increase. Holy blazes, guys. And there's a lot of loot boxes still on the board. Let's see it. Mm. B 
Boom! Boom! I guess they... Did they not stack? Because I really would have thought it would have been more than that. Did they not stack? Thirty-four... Seven? It should have been like... Oh, okay. I guess they did. It was like 12k or 11 or 12k a piece. That was a big shot, guys. That was a super big shot. I then think like every time you break black two more turns, like you could just keep that damage going and going and going. So as the match goes on, he just gets stronger. And I feel like that's his best build. It's just a bomb waiting to go off right there. So what do you guys think of Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man at five star? Do you like him? You're going to build him up one day? You taking money ink up for all your farming purposes? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's the little red button right underneath this video player. It says subscribe. Also, while you're down there, drop an insane elbow right down on that like button. Those things help me out tremendously, guys. And it's free to you and it takes like five seconds. So please help me out with that. And leave me a comment on here and let me know what's up. So with all that being said, until next time, guys, peace.